Snow, ice, and slick roads can really increase your chances of skidding or getting into a crash. The situation can be even scarier if you have a child in the car. As an attorney, I'm looking into the car seat safety laws that could save your child's life and keep you from getting a ticket. That's this week's Justice with Jessica. There you go. You're all set. You and your blankie. Sun, rain or snow, mom and nanny Ashley Lane is always on the go. I'm in the car a lot going on outings, so like the museum or the zoo. Outings that could get more dangerous as the weather gets worse. The big thing is like neighborhood roads and side roads that don't get plowed um, become really dangerous because with the weather we've had, they've lasted for weeks and weeks without clearing off. For Lane, coping with the inevitable slipping and sliding is all about having the right gear installed the right way. Making sure that they are in approved uh, child seats in the car, uh, making sure that those are installed correctly and um, making sure that they're always buckled up. Failing to get it right doesn't only put your child at risk, it's breaking the law. In Colorado, a baby under a year old who weighs less than 20 pounds has to be in a rear facing car seat. Between the ages of one and four and between 20 to 40 pounds, a child can be in a rear or forward facing seat. Kids up to age eight must be in some type of child restraint system, such as a booster seat. Some kids may have to be in a booster seat until they're 15, depending on their height and weight. It's remarkable what a properly installed seat with the child um, properly harnessed in it can do. Sergeant William Ravel with the Aurora Police Department regularly does car seat checkups, helping parents properly install car seats. That's because car seats are often installed improperly by well-meaning parents. We always say that the your child's the most precious thing you'll ever put in your car. So take the time to do it right. Make sure they're properly in the car. Don't shortcut it. If your child isn't properly secured, you could be committing a class B traffic infraction and subject to a $65 fine. I love being a part of kids day to day life and it's great. But for Lane, the precautions are not about getting a ticket. They're about possibly saving a child's life. That, she says, is worth the extra hassle of getting it right. Taking that extra time, if we're going to be late because we have to fix something or do something, it's 100% worth it to me. Presbyterian St. Luke's and Rocky Mountain Hospital for Children can help you get your car seat properly adjusted. They have events each week to schedule an appointment call 303-839-7338. Brian. Oh, you have kids. And oh, well, with second nature now yeah. with the car seat. But I remember being a new parent, uh, being nervous about it because mm -hmm. there are so many different buckles and the tolerance has to be not too tight, but not too loose. Yeah. And so I remember with my wife, we would practice at the hospital, mm -hmm. you know, buckling a doll That's in smart. just to make sure that uh, we knew what we were doing when we got in the car to take him home. Yeah, the hard thing is that people get impatient about these things too, but you just got to take your time and get it right. That's right. Another thing to think about during the winter, removing your child's coat before you buckle them into the car seat. Experts say that the yeah. bulky winter coats prevent those harnesses from fitting as snug as mm -hmm. they should. So in crashes, there's a bigger risk of the child being ejected and you don't want that. The suggestion is to take the coat off and to buckle the child without the coat on right. and cover them in a blanket. Um, one of our one of our co-workers here has a very fancy way of doing it. It's like <laughs> Like a, you, you, I guess like cover the kid's head yeah. and then drape well, this over the entire. I will car say seat. You, you can never have too many blankets with a, with a newborn, oh, and this one's with comfy. an infant, you know, and yeah, obviously in Colorado when it's snowing, you gotta, you gotta have it. Good luck getting this back here. <laughs>